Um, big story of the day then. Danny Cipriani has gone. What can you say about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, you know, me and Danny have... Um, We've got a very good relationship and, and a very honest relationship and, and we've had a couple of discussions over the last few weeks and Danny felt it was time for a, a new challenge and, and we fully support him in that and um, yeah, you know, we, we've shook hands and um, as I say, Danny's off to, to whatever his next challenge is. And how much of a shock to you was his departure? Yeah, well, I mean, like I say, today's not a shock to me because I've been talking to Danny for a couple of weeks and, and as I say, it's... Um, it's, it's relatively easy when you've got a good relationship with someone and you can talk honestly and openly. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased for Danny that, um, you know, he, he can, um, he's been a great servant to the club and, and he can push on and, and challenge himself um, in whatever route he chooses to go down. Yeah, absolutely. Great servant to the club. How do you sum up his contribution to Gloucester? Yeah, well, I mean, look, you know, the, the, Particularly the season, you know, a couple of years ago when, when Gloucester got into the playoffs, I think, you know, he was, he was player of the year and he was outstanding and he, you know, he brought some, um, some great moments uh, to Gloucester and to the game full stop. And I think, you know, it, uh, a player of his quality is, um, is great to watch when, he, when he's in full flow and playing like that. So um, I'm sure the fans will have, you know, plenty of nice messages for him and, um, you know, they'll appreciate what he did while he was here. And a busy day at King's Home, new signing Adam Hastings. Uh, how much do you see Adam as a direct replacement for Danny? Well, I think Adam, yeah, Adam's a good signing for us. You know, he's, um, he's young, he's hungry, he's got a good, um, he's already got good experience behind him, obviously, and he's, he's really excited to come and play in the Premiership. And I think, um, you know, that's obviously very exciting for the club and the supporters of the club. Just going back to Danny quickly, um, is there an element of upheaval with him going or was it something that you were perhaps able to prepare for and plan for? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it, like I say, it's, it's a shock obviously to um, everyone outside of, of the inner circle, if you like. And, and obviously, it's not something necessarily we've had to plan for or anything like that. As I say, the discussions between um, myself and Danny and, and Gloucester have, have been very easy and honest and it's a it's a really simple process um so there's not been loads of planning around it or anything like that or any uh dramatic shock to it obviously you know we've kept it in-house and until danny had, had um you know decided exactly what he wanted to do so um it, it's it is what it is to be honest with you there's no you know smoke or mirrors to it it's, it's as simple as it is and danny's very much his own man i mean do you do you hope that he will carry on playing for a couple more years at least Oh, absolutely. I think I think that's one of the big things. You know, I think um, you know someone of Danny's quality. We all know what Danny can do on his day, and it, 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 you know it's um, it's great to watch. And and I think uh, you know it'd be a real shame if if Danny didn't take on a new challenge. And and obviously that's up to him what he decides to do, where he decides to go, whatever that looks like. That's not something I've discussed with him. Um, you know, that's very much personal to him and uh, and his family. But. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would hope to see Danny, you know, go on and, and play some great rugby. Was was this in the nature of um, something Danny wanted from Gloucester that you couldn't provide? Or was it purely the case of an opportunity arising from him that he wanted to take right now? No, I mean, as I say, I don't know, like, what Danny's next challenge will be. I, I think this is more just, you know, there, there sometimes comes a point where a player, um, you know, feels it's it's time to move on and time to do something different. And um, again, like I say, because I've got a very good relationship and it's honest, it, it was very easy to, to have those conversations. But um, there's been no incident or any falling out or anything of that nature. It, it's, it's very much, as I say, exactly how it is. And, um, you know, that's, as I say, I, I support him fully in whatever challenge he goes forward with. Was there any financial element to Danny's departure? We all know how stretched finances are at the moment. I mean, I can't quite understand why he would be allowed to go after four games with so much of the season left to play, leaving you fairly uh, short-resourced in such a key position. Uh, well, no, there's nothing financial because I don't, I don't think that would um, benefit anybody. Um, so it's nothing like that. It's, it's exactly what I'm saying, you know, right now is it's time for a new challenge and, and that's, you know, ultimately I'm, I'm pleased for Danny that he's, he's happy and that's the way he wants to go. And um, like I say, that's, I'm, I'm telling you the honest, uh, com well, not say the conversations we had, but the fact we could honestly talk about it is, um, is a benefit to both parties because I think when a player, you know, wants to move on and fancies a new challenge, there's, there's no point trying to keep him at a club where, um, you know, it's not necessarily for them anymore because it'll only, 
it'll only cause um, dramas. Okay, that's fair enough. Interesting. In August, you said, you know, if people aren't buying into your vision, um, then the team sheet will, you know, will show you uh, who's buying into it. Obviously, we've not seen him play. Has he not been playing in recent weeks because these discussions have been going on and, you know, they've been on everyone's mind? Is that why we've not seen him? No, I, I mean, so we are, obviously, I have got a vision of, of where we want to go, but this is, this is not to do with that. This is very much... Um, you know, Danny had a couple of niggles from early in the year, and and that's where that probably gave us an opportunity for for him, he, you know, to step back and think about it. And that's where the conversations probably stem from. Was um, like you say, is it is it time for a new challenge? But um, again, it, there's there's nothing more to it than that. It's just um, it's just the way one of these things has panned out. 